Genomic medicine is on the threshold of a significant advance in the United Kingdom with the recent introduction of an NHS Genomic Medicine Service Alliance. This world-leading initiative aims to integrate genomic medicine into routine healthcare. The UK has a strong history in genomics. From Watson and Crick's discovery of DNA to DNA sequencing, we have made a vast contribution to this rapidly evolving and exciting field. It is the ambition of the NHS to create the most advanced genomic healthcare system in the world, underpinned by the latest scientific advances to deliver better health outcomes at lower cost. This will support earlier detection and faster diagnoses, target interventions to specific groups of patients, support patients in understanding what genomics means for their health, and bring the full might of its capabilities in the field to bear against new threats to public health. Hello, my name is Bill Newman, and I'm the Clinical Director at the NHS Northwest Genomic Medicine Service Alliance. The NHS Northwest Genomic Medicine Service Alliance is one of a network of seven regional alliances launched in England in 2021 by the NHS Genomic Medicine Service to oversee and coordinate how genomics should be used in healthcare to maximise its benefits to patients. Some of you will be wondering what is genomic medicine? Well, genomic medicine uses insights from a human's complete set of their genetic material made up of the chemical DNA. In each cell, this genetic material is called a genome. Half of this genomic information is inherited from each of a person's parents. Because people are very different, studying a genome by itself can't tell you very much. To make sense of it, it's essential to know much more about the person and their health, as well as the variation in their DNA. The idea behind genomic medicine is that by using the genomic information of patients, we can better understand their health problems, provide advice about risks to family members, and better ensure their treatment is safe and more effective. If a genetic test results in an accurate diagnosis, it's more likely that we'll be able to provide the right treatment. Genomic medicine has proved helpful in cancer treatments and rare and infectious diseases. Hence, genomic medicine has also been described as precision medicine. Here at the Northwest Genomic Medicine Service Alliance, we bring together regional clinical partners, the Genomic Laboratory Hub and the Genomic Medicine Services. All work together to improve health and equity of access to genomic tests and treatments for patients across the region. An example of one of the ways that genomics is helping to provide better care is through a national pilot program on sudden unexpected cardiac death. When a young person dies suddenly, this causes shock and distress for the family and their friends. One of the questions is how could this have happened? We know that genetic conditions that affect the heart muscle or heart rhythm can sometimes be the cause. We have been working closely with the North Manchester Coroner's Office to ensure that when a family is affected by the sudden cardiac death of a relative, the correct genetic tests are undertaken to try to find a cause and that heart checkups and counselling are provided to relatives. Here at the Northwest Genomic Medicine Service Alliance, we are also embedding genomics into mainstream clinical care through our programmes in education, nursing, midwifery and pharmacy. These help healthcare professionals by raising awareness of genomics and through education and training. Certain groups and communities are affected more by certain medical conditions. Some of these have a genetic explanation. For example, men from African and Afro-Caribbean communities are more prone to prostate cancer and have a one in four chance of developing this condition compared to one in eight in white men. We want to increase access to early screening and treatment. South Asian people have some of the highest rates of heart disease, diabetes and severe responses to COVID infection experienced by any group in the UK. The Genes and Health Study is one of the world's largest community-based genetic studies aiming to improve the health amongst people of Pakistani and Bangladeshi heritage. 
by analyzing the genetic and healthcare data of 100,000 people in London, Bradford and Manchester. I want to really encourage members of these communities to consider participating in this research and to tackle these major health issues. We also know there is a higher incidence of breast cancer in the Jewish community. In the Northwest, there is a large Jewish community and it is important that they are provided with the right information, genetic testing and screening. We know that there are other groups too across the Northwest with health needs where genomics may be of benefit and we want to reach out to all of them. One way we are doing this is through our partnership with the Greater Manchester Integrated Care Partnership and the Northwest NHS BAME Assembly. This is an assembly of healthcare professionals who collaborate and work together through their respective organisations to help address health inequalities in underserved groups. Hi, I'm Victor Adibor Ali. I'm the chair of the NHS Confederation. I'm here to talk to you about genomic medicine, which can help spot diseases earlier, predict when people are at a high risk of developing certain conditions and ultimately save and improve lives. That's why I'm pleased about the work the Northwest Genomic Medicine Service Alliance is doing. How they are realising the potential of genomics to support groups and communities more affected by certain medical conditions. This is how you start to address inequity and inequalities in health and really transform lives. Genomics is a key part of our armory against inequity and inequalities in health. As we know, health inequalities were stark before COVID-19, worsened during the pandemic and risk increasing further because of the cost of living crisis. This is a deterioration we can ill afford. The preventative power of genomics, particularly for groups traditionally underserved by the NHS, cannot be understated and presents exciting opportunities to identify, prevent, treat and manage conditions. This is the transformation we need to see in the NHS. At the NHS Confederation, we've long argued that the NHS alone cannot solve health inequalities and health inequity. Policy change is needed too, as many of the levers to create a healthy society are in the hands of our politicians. But the work of the Northwest Genomics Medicine Service Alliance and others like it can make a huge difference particularly to inequalities faced by black, Asian and minority ethnic communities. Hello, my name is Shamila Carr and I'm the Joint Director of Equality and Engagement at NHS Greater Manchester Integrated Care, Manchester Locality and Manchester City Council. I'm also the Interim Director of the North West Black, Asian and Minority Ethnic Assembly. Our assembly is comprised of black, Asian and minority ethnic leaders and professionals in the NHS who came together during COVID-19 pandemic when we recognised that it was having a disproportionate impact on many of our racialized communities. They were experiencing high infection and through the establishment of the Greater Manchester Care Partnership, we are working in a more joined up way so that we can offer services in a more connected way. From NHS GPs and hospitals, councils, the voluntary sector and community groups, we are collaborating to support communities who experience greater health inequalities and collectively we act sooner to keep people well and living a good life. That is why we are working with the Northwest Genomic Medicine Service Alliance to achieve this, because access to genetic testing and genomic medicine is so important for all of us. We want the work of the Northwest Genomic Medicine Service Alliance to reach throughout the Northwest. In the past months, we've held a number of genomic awareness events at hospitals in Lancashire, South Cumbria, Manchester and Merseyside, and we will continue our engagement with communities and healthcare professionals. If you have concerns about your health that you think may be related to a genetic condition, please seek the advice of your GP. For more information about our work, please visit our website. Thank you.